Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight I was just playing. Uh, just last night I made some videos using the extrude tool. And I started thinking about this. And this is easy to make. And this is, you could use this for a laser engraver. And I think it would really look cool. So we're going to start with two circles. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that circle. I'm going to hold down the shift key and it's going to grow. Then I'm going to take a two point line and I'm going to hit P. And then I'm going to duplicate that line and I'm going to rotate it five degrees. And then I'm going to rotate it again. I just realized I'm making it quite a bit narrower than the one before. So we grab that inner circle. We can get this corner and hold down the shift key and it'll grow. Then I'm going to take the smart fill tool. I'm going to fill one of those in with yellow. I'm going to fill in one of those in. Let's make it red for the video. Now, because I'm working the center of the page, I can get rid of all these lines. I only need those two objects. And I'm going to group them together, control G. And then I'm going to go to Windows and Dockers, transform, you might say transformation. And I've already done it. And now we rotated five degrees, but we're doubly thick. So we need to click on it and move the rotation to the center. Like always, it doesn't look like it is. So we're going to, we need 30, five copies because we've already got one to make 36 at 10 degrees where we hit apply. Now we need to group these together, control G, and get the extrude tool, which is underneath your drop shadow flyout. And you can do this as little or as lot as you want on movement. And, you know, you can play with it make it really, I'm gonna to try, to try to make it very little at all. And then while you've got the extrude tool, you could get right here to the rotation of the extrude and you can turn your three any which way you want it. I really should have made it gray and black or white and black for us laser engravers. But if you ever want to make a wheel or a, a ring, um, you know, this is how you can make a ring looking thing, even if you had some shadow on it. I don't like that one as much as the one we had. I don't think you can extrude it. Yeah, you can. And then you could still get your rotation and rotate it around. Of course, now it just looks like a, a solid pipe. But anyway, kind of a cool effect, kind of fun to play around with. It, uh, it actually looks like it's going inside there. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.